Well, actually getting a little bit of work done on my baby there. Trying to fix the uh, leaky fuel tank. Um, this is the original one that I just dropped out from underneath it today. And what I found was a nick. Well, not a nick. It's actual crack right there over a hump. Probably from sitting in the garage, getting hot, puffing up, getting cold, going down. Um, this tank actually has been repaired here and here and here. And it's, it's uh, I guess you could say it's a little rough. <laughs> but like I said, I just, just dropped it out today. And uh, I've been working on prepping a, another tank and this tank here I actually got from John up at Big M and it's it's pretty nice he warned me about you know the rust and a couple of the ninks you know it's got a bump here looks like it may have bottomed out or something at one point but you know, I'm, I'm scraping and trying to get the undercoat off of it. And I've been using one of those little vibrating scraper tools from Harbor Freight. And was doing okay, kind of getting at the metal a little bit. So then I broke out the, uh, the butane blowtorch and just started to heat the stuff up. And in combination of that and the scraper, it just came off <laughs> it was awesome it came off real good obviously i can't get in all the low spots but now i'm going over it with uh, lacquer thinner and gasoline although the lacquer thinner seems to work much better um, but the goal is goal is to get it all cleaned off and then I've got some of that uh, rust converter paint and then some uh, yep, jets flying out and out uh, fell in Nevada from Top Gun but put some uh, rust converter on there and then I got some 3M undercoat so treat it up get it in down on this end, you can tell I started started to clean it, but I haven't got all the way down. It was getting a little late yesterday, but that's the new tank. And like I said, I got everything to oh to treat it up and get it get it going up underneath the car. The actual tank hangers. And the bars look good, but as you can tell, it's gotten, it's got some, some bad stuff up here. That'll have to be taken care of. All of this is gone too. The middle looks, looks okay. Oh, the spot there. Gone here. You actually see the centerpiece of the uh, interior <laughs> that I store in the trunk. Um, but I actually have another pan, trunk pan that I got from uh, from John at Big M as well. Um, basically, it's the whole from the front seam all the way back to here. So I got to get that treated up and in eventually. And one kind of neat surprise out of all of this was. When I took the, what is it, the cinder unit, gas tank part, um, it looks like whoever had this car before at some point had actually swapped it out. So I don't have to try to find another one of these. I may do something about the cork, I don't know. But the filler tube ring is soft and pliable. 
even though I bought one of those. I was even able to get the O-ring off that seals on the underneath of this. Oh, you okay, baby? He's here, and he's me. Oh, hold on. Okay, so I'm back. Um, apparently, the, my oldest kid got stung by a wasp next door. First time that had happened. So she was a little upset. Um, I think where I was was saying that, um, you know, this has been replaced and I was even, even able to save the O-ring that goes around here so I can use that as either a, a template or a matchup against another uh, gasket because I don't know where to source a gasket for that. Um, I have to uh, straighten out and resurface my... Uh, my tank straps. I don't know where the other one is. It's probably still hanging underneath the car. But all in all, feels good to be getting a little bit of work done on her and hopefully you're back on the road before too much longer. And I'll uh, try to get some more footage as things progress. Oh, I guess I should say I picked up the poor 15 or whatever that is uh, I picked up this kit and plan on going through that yeah it's the poor 15 deal um, after reading the directions I think that's going to end up being like a, a five to seven day process especially doing it during a work week so you got to do a couple things with the cleaner and then you got to do the prep and you know those are like days kind of thing and then the sealer and you got to let the sealer cure so hopefully I'll, uh, I'll remember to take some, some video of that as, um, as I get, get going on it and give everybody my opinion on, on that. So until, until next time, hopefully I can keep working on her. <laughs>